everyone welcome to my channel I am Crystal the Ernie chicken and crazy cat lady and I have a little bit of an update on the garden and my plants so these are the stargazer lilies and as you can see they are beginning to get the flowers uh, starting this one actually has one right there and that one this one somehow fell off it was sitting there and it was connected but it's separated from the stem so I don't know and this one right here is actually my aunt's and hers is the biggest flower these are the toad lilies that my mom gave me uh, for Mother's Day this one ended up dying and came back finally this one is doing really really well and the third one uh has not come up so now i'm gonna take you and show you some flowers that had bloomed and then i'll take you to the garden my grandmother has this big huge uh tree slash bush that grows these pretty purplish flowers i can't remember the name of them but uh, yeah, so they're real tall. I just wanted to share y'all, share with y'all those. They're very pretty. And here's Wapo. Hi, Wapo. Say hi to everybody. Hey. Say hi, Wapo. Oreo's over there sleeping. He was sleeping. Here's Oreo all laid out sleeping. Oreo. <laughs> Oreo. She's like, it's too hot, mama. These are the Iron Cross Good Luck Plants, and I showed the progress of them growing, but they're starting to get little flowers. I do have a picture that I'm going to insert um, of the, the flower. And it looks like that one half died or that was the one that had the flower on it i guess they end up dying off but all four of her bulbs came up beautiful little pink purple flowers and then there's a whole bunch of cluster of them that are gonna come up and then right there mine in the front yard has not made flowers yet and these were my aunt's her second bulb is finally coming up right here I don't see the third or fourth one yet but she does have two more stems down there coming up so these are doing fairly good all right so I had to replant I think I mentioned this two weeks ago that I replanted some of my peppers and tomatoes in the catnip. These were sweet banana peppers. These were the hot wax pepper and I actually have one coming up there. These were, no, that was the bell pepper. That's the bell, bell pepper. So I got one bell pepper coming up these were the hot wax there's nothing coming up in this one yet but there is one tiny one starting there and one there if y'all are able to see that then these are the lemon drop and they all uh, two, four, six, eight. All eight that I planted came up. There was also lemon drop in this one on this side. 
but nothing has come up here yet. But this one is doing really well. And these are the Hidalgo. And five out of the eight I planted here are coming up. My mini bell tomatoes are starting. Something got a hold of those, but they're doing better. And then those. And the catnip. The catnip actually came up in this one, but not in this one. So, I'm kind of happy. I was afraid that they would not come up like the seeds were too old, but they did, and I'm happy. So, yeah. All right. Also, before I forget, the zucchini is doing really, really well. I think it was last week we got a three pound zucchini off of this plant. It, I took a couple of pictures to share because we did give it to our neighbor. Since it was our first harvest, we usually try to give it away. And um, so yeah, I'll insert those pictures here. The beans have been doing really, really well also, except some of them have started to die off. Uh, the tomatoes are doing fairly well, but the only thing I noticed is I had to cut uh, probably about seven to eight tomatoes. They had black spots on the bottom. I did find out that this right here is ginger. There's also another one growing back there, very small. So that uh, too actually is growing in there, but that's ginger. We do have a couple of tomatoes on the plant still left. These are our sweet potatoes, which they're going crazy now overtaking that onion that's in there. These tomatoes are doing fairly good too. We got an onion that we had in the fridge growing. Uh, the potatoes are starting to sprout again. Uh, we dug all through here, got out probably, I think it was a pound worth of small potatoes. And we also left this bean, which it's blooming again and even got a bean there. We have these tomatoes, which are getting bigger, and our garlic's starting to kind of die off, but they went from one little clove to a little cluster. There are a couple of big tomatoes on that back one. I don't know if y'all can see them. I don't think I'm too far away. But, yeah. So, everything's doing fairly well. And the grapes are producing also. They're not very good tasting grapes. But, if you can kind of see... You can see two there. I don't know where else. There's some over there, but it's kind of hard to see. All right, so, if you are still with me, I have a surprise. June is my birthday month, and I want to do a seed giveaway. So what I'm going to do is the winner will be allowed up to $10 and I will order some packs of seeds from Baker, uh, Baker's Creek and you will 
go and look on their site, pick out a few up to a $10 value, and I'll buy them and ship them to you. So, uh, all the rules will be listed down below. I will draw the winner on the eve of my birthday, which is June 25th. So, uh, comment, pear tree. How about that? That'll be our keyword. Pear tree, and I know you will want to be entered for the seed giveaway. All right, so make sure you read the rules listed down below. And uh, just a, a little hidden giveaway here for my birthday. So thank you everyone for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I will see y'all later. Bye for now, everybody.